Welcome to the EMC Newsroom. This is Carl Ford. I'm here with Rob Henshaw, who is the Vice President of Marketing and Channels at Proxim. So first of all, let's just talk about who Proxim is, sure. just so people get it. Because because I think of you guys as being the guys who come into my machine, my my laptop. So tell us more more than just that. We do do that. We do everything from wireless LANs to outdoor uh, Wi-Fi mesh, WiMAX, fixed and mobile. Uh, as well as point-to-point -point wireless backhaul. So what we do is really the full end-to-end -end wireless ecosystem. Excellent, excellent. And and here at the show, you made some announcements. We did indeed. Yeah. So we uh, today we announced that the in, the state of Indiana, the Indiana Department of Transportation, has leveraged our fixed WiMAX technology to uh, create a, a statewide intelligent transportation system that links together all the dynamic messaging signs. Uh, telling people when there's traffic ahead, making sure that the roads are safe. So fixed WiMAX, you know, very excellent uh, uh, technology for doing video surveillance and that type of MTAM, you know, type of. So the Amber Alerts are, are basically taking advantage of of your guys' technology yep. in, involved in WiMAX. In Amber Indiana. Alerts, uh, traffic notifications, uh, uh, warning people that there's speed tra or uh, you know speed issues ahead. Everything. Okay, and and. Earlier we had a conversation and you brought up the idea of, of, of power over Ethernet for the cameras and mm -hmm. video surveillance, so talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so what we've done with our fixed WiMAX products, uh, you know, everybody talks about y mobile WiMAX as, you know, as the big hot thing. We're big believers in fixed WiMAX and the applications for that. So what we've done is, just to increase the functionality, is added an, an extra PoE out port on all of our radios so that on our fixed WiMAX radios so that you can power the cameras directly from our radios. So that way you don't have to run a separate power supply to all of your video cameras. So you know, statewide Department of Transportation deployment, they're putting out a lot of cameras. And if they had to run separate power to all of those, it'd be an, a lot of additional deployment costs as well as deployment time. So we just reduce that. So there, there's been some talk amongst friends around here about the fact that that the mobile WiMAX guys and the and the fixed WiMAX guys really should kind of have kind of separate discussions because most people think that it's a logical progression, but it's not. They're two really tangential businesses, yeah. right? Yeah. And and you want to talk about that at all as to how you see the market evolving? I do. Yeah. Well, over the last five years, while mobile WiMAX has been the sexier topic. Fixed WiMAX is the one that's been selling in the background. People are using it. It's functional. It's you know for intelligent transportation systems, for video surveillance, for public safety. This is what people are using. So there's the sexy side of WiMAX, and there's the functional side of WiMAX. Right. We're big fans of the functional side. We think that fixed WiMAX and just fixed point to multi point technologies in general. Some of our new radios um, leverage you know the WiMAX technology, but we do a proprietary mix on top of that. So I think that what we're going to see is especially in 2010, as people are getting money from the government to do public safety deployments, to do these, these traffic deployments, they're going to use fixed WiMAX for that. It's a perfect application. Uh, and even if they don't decide to go with standardized fixed WiMAX, using point-to-multipoint technologies is the absolute ideal way to, to deploy those. And we're talking about unlicensed WiMAX, basically? All unlicensed, yeah. We, we do have licensed products. But if you're looking at especially state deployments, things like that, if, and especially if you're using government funds, the most cost-effective, fiscally responsible way to deploy these type of technologies is with unlicensed. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Great. Rob, thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks for having Appreciate me. It. Take care.